Today, I go way back to my childhood as I unbox and review Hot Toys Vintage Color Boba Fett, part of their 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back. He's no good to me dead. Coming up next. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? This is Costa with Pop Culture Living Room. If you enjoy this video, please smash the like button, hit subscribe and click the bell notification so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. Duh, that's what it's for, right? Today we are going to take a look at Hot Toys Vintage Color Boba Fett. This takes me way back to my childhood and is brimming with nostalgia. Without further ado, let's take a look at Hot Toys Vintage Color Boba Fett. Let's take a quick look at the box of Vintage Color Boba Fett. This is oozing with nostalgia. We have the old school Kenner blister pack look to this. Let's take a quick tour. There's the Empire Strikes Back logo, vintage color. There's a nice picture of the Boba Fett figure with some flamethrower action going. On the side, you can see Empire Strikes Back, Boba Fett, a couple of shots of the figure. Then on the back, you get a lot of information about hot toys and notices and warnings and make sure that this is only for 15 and up. You get a nice shot of the figure right there holding his rifle. Oh, a nice shot of Slave 1 in the background. That would be cool if they made a 1-6 scale Slave 1, but that'll never happen. And then we take a quick look at the top. Ooh, Empire Strikes a Back, uh, so good. And the bottom, oh, it's more Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> and then the other side, a nice, long, full-size view, well, up to his knees, of the one, the only, Mr. Fett. Let's take a look at the accessories. Here are all the accessories for vintage color Boba Fett. We have... A blaster rifle. Look at that. Really cool paint apps on it. This, I mean, that really looks like wood. That is awesome. A blaster. They come with four tools that fit in his pockets by his shins. You get an anti-security blade, survival knife, sonic beam, and a jetpack adjustment tool. To be honest, I'm not sure which one is which, and I didn't feel like looking it up. He comes with five hands, partially open to hold the blaster. Closed jazz hands. They're closed, I'm still calling them jazz hands. And a couple of fists, cause I'm gonna punch you in the face. Or in the stomach. Or in the arm. Or wherever it's gonna hurt, cause I'm just gonna punch you. And we have his jetpack with his missile in it. It's a shame it doesn't shoot, cause that would have been a cool addition to do the Boba Fett with the projectile missile. You missed an opportunity, Hot Toys. You missed an opportunity. But look at this, I this is so cool. I love how it keeps to the vintage color look, but it still has some schmutz here and there. Yeah, you got some schmutz. You got schmutz here too. Now, to attach this backpack, which we'll see later, is no easy task. There's a magnet in here. I just wish they used a much stronger magnet so you didn't have to use the hooks that you have here. Ugh, this is this is gonna be fun trying to put this backpack on. This is probably the worst thing about this figure, is putting this backpack on. And then 
you have the standard base. There's the Boba Fett nameplate. You've seen this Star Wars base before. Kind of does have an Empire Strikes Back feel to it, but it, you know, it could be the Death Star. It could be Bespin. It could be whatever. I wish every Boba Fett or any Mandalorian would just automatically come with an action base. He's got a jetpack. Maybe I want him to be in the air, you know, floating around, shooting. All right, let's get out the man himself. Boba Fett. And here he is, Boba Fett. Wow, I'm, uh, I'm going to probably weep a little because this really brings back some happy times from when I was a kid. Look how beautiful Hot Toys replicated the vintage Boba Fett look, but still kept some of that one six scale realness in here. It is gorgeous. Now let's take a closer look at Boba Fett and his armor and all this beautiful color. Here is a nice close up look at the Boba Fett head sculpt. This helmet looks great. The paint apps are amazing. They give you the vintage feel, but still add the some dirt and schmutz on here. This is great. Look at that head. Oh man. Let's move down to the chest armor. You can see there's damage here, but they still keep the clean paintwork of the vintage look. We'll go slowly down. You can see the cool vibrant greens and yellows and red with the back of this grayish blue or bluish gray, probably bluish gray. His knee pads down to his boots. Let's take a look at the back. We haven't put on the jetpack yet, but here's the fun we're gonna have later. Uh, why? There are powerful magnets. Why, Hot Toys? Why? <laughs> I can understand maybe on older versions of FETs, but come on. You could have given us a uh, much stronger magnet, so we didn't have to try to fumble with putting the jetpack on here. And then you can see him from behind. There we go. Let's take a trip around the articulation super highway. We have, he can turn his head l this way, turn it this way. He can in fact turn it all the way around if we wanted to. Looks up, looks down. Does some stretching here, a little bit of stretching there. His visor uh, targeting system comes down. Awesome. Let's look at the arms. Goes out to the side. And that's as about as far as it goes. And it goes up. The elbow. Double jointed. Ab crunch. Not much ab crunch. Uh, uh. Oh, I hate my ab workouts. Hip, out to the side, pretty good. Forward, up, oh, not much. Let's see, back, and not, almost nothing at all. The knee, bends, double jointed. Ankles, a twist around, pivot, pivot. Who's ready to put on that backpack? Let's do it. Now the key is to get these two hooks onto these two hooks. You would think, oh, let me, uh, let's just uh, pop it on. Guess what? Nope. You can't just do this. Now, at some point I, I did try, I lifted this up like barely and I try to get one on at a time, which is also a bitch. Now, one thing you can try is using tweezers. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Tweezers up. One, we got it. We got one. Now, I guess the key is to grab the fabric and this together, hold it straight up, and then two. Oh my God. This freaking happened quicker than I thought it would. Look, I got it on. 
Oh my gosh, my first time. My first shot on video. Wow. Backpack on. It does have a magnet to keep it in place. So, I mean, there's some movement, but you can feel, you can feel a little bit of the magnet. Poof. That's awesome. I did it. Let's put his knives and utilities in his pockets here. Like that. There. So, we'll put this one here. So, I think this guy goes here. And this big dude goes in this big spot right here. Oh. Yeah, I'll put that up. Great. We'll put the knee pads over. Now, be careful. I broke these. These just popped right off. I super glued them back on. But these boys just, just this one. I think it was this one. Maybe it was this one. I don't know. Just broke right off. Sadness. I was I I I was in a panic for a second, but then I I remembered super glue. Yeah. So just be careful there. We have his blaster holster right here. We're gonna put his blaster in the holster. Now let's put this bad boy in some cool ass poses. <laughs> He looks fantastic with the sideshow Han in Carbonite. I will put a link in the description so you can get your very own Han in Carbonite. It is a very cool figure. Pair that up with this Boba Fett, or pretty much any Boba Fett, you're gonna have a cool display. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Costa with Pop Culture Living Room. Peace!